carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing at rates so fast there is almost no chance of keeping global warming on target. That's the warning from a new study by the Met Office. It's due to record high emissions from fossil fuel burning, wildfires and the destruction of natural sinks such as tropical forests, which means they're capturing less carbon. Here's our science correspondent, Martin Stew. Last year, I saw for myself the speed of warming in the Arctic and the devastation of drought in Africa. All our seed went into the land and nothing came out. Driven in part by the weather phenomenon El Nino, but in bulk by our emissions. Despite advances in wind, solar and electric cars, in 2024 globally, we burnt more fossil fuels than in any other year in history. Using data mapping the last 800,000 years, CO2 levels are now 50% higher than they were before the Industrial Revolution. Last year saw the fastest rise of all. CO2 is driving climate change. It's warming the earth as a greenhouse gas, uh, and we are causing this by burning fossil fuels and deforestation. The warming climate is already having devastating consequences in some places. Normally, about half of CO2 emissions are absorbed by the planet. The biggest carbon sinks are, in order, the ocean, the soil and the forests. But last year, they didn't absorb as much. The ocean was particularly warm and warmer water holds less gas than cold water. It's the reason why a cold fizzy drink is more bubbly than a warm one. Drier soils impacted by erratic rainfall were less able to absorb carbon and huge swathes of forests, including an area of Bolivia twice the size of Scotland, were burnt. All of this is, is taken into account in the advice that we give in terms of like what the targets are to be on track to remain below 1.5 degrees. But we really need to bring emissions down in the short term because these feedback loops make it harder in the long term to stay below this target. As we move from El Nino into La Nina, the Met Office expects this year to be slightly cooler. As a result, the rise in carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere should be slower, but still far above what's needed to keep global warming capped to 1.5 degrees. Martin Stew, ITV News.